Friday Night Rivals recap starts now. About 15 minutes of high school football from around central Illinois to cover, including our week six Friday Night Rivals game of the week. Um, at Seymour, they took a trip to Mount Zion to try and spoil their homecoming. Braves and Bulldogs, a matchup between three and two teams, trying to establish themselves with a signature win here. Lucas Dyer, the heave and connects. It's Gavin Hammerschmidt who breaks free and he's off to the races. Mohamed Seymour, they open the scoring. We talked about in the pregame how they can just do it all. Passing touchdown, rushing score. Kate Ashby punches it in for the Bulldogs six. Then Dyer, he's gonna come in and he's gonna do a little Dyer magic. Maneuvering around the pocket. Houdini himself can't be stopped. And he's gonna find Mason Orton in the end zone for another six. Trimble on the other side, he would take this rush to the house for six to get uh, Mount Zion on the board, but the Bulldogs, they win big final score, 38-14. to It's week six, Mom and Seymour, they took care of business in the game of the week, but let's take a look at the rest of the action tonight, and let's kick it off first over at Olympia. One of the other strong contests of the night, New Berlin looking to uh, preserve an undefeated record against Olympia who just lost their first game of the season. Spartans, they get a hot start with a pitch here to Brendan Hardeman. He's going to find an opening and he's just going to win the foot race as he gets the game's first points. Off to the races, he's gone. Touchdown Olympia. The Spartans put the pretzels in a twist as their first offensive drive gets interrupted here by a strong tackle, pops the ball out of the pretzels and Spartans ball. The Spartan offense keeps on going, working the outside run. Cohen Alexander, he's going to barrel his way home for the score. Olympia, they had the early lead, but the pretzels, they are inevitable. They can't be stopped. They win this one. They're unbeaten. 21-14 win. Let's keep this one rolling now as we head to Athens, who hosted the Bullets. Williamsville trying to stay unbeaten in conference play as well. Athens, it's going to be Davis Ishmael. He's going to hand it to Gage Hahn, who's going to be stopped for a short gain. And Williamsville's Jackson Sanders, he's going to pass to Braddock Cates, who's going to run for a decent little gain before being stopped. And then it's going to be Williamsville yet again. This time Jackson Sanders, he's going to throw it. And he's going to find Griffin Watkins before he's tackled out of bounds. Inevitably, it's going to be Jason Sandals throwing one more pass. It's going to end up being incomplete here. But the Bullets, they're going to win this one big 52-6. They remain undefeated in conference play, and that only loss coming to top-ranked Byron. We now head to Lincoln as they hosted MacArthur. Lincoln in the red zone early, and it's going to be a handoff once we transition here. Handoff now going to Peyton Bunner. He splits through the middle of the Generals' defense in 4-6. Touchdown! MacArthur, they try to answer back with a red zone opportunity, but they're going to be stuffed on fourth and goal from the one yard line by Peyton Bunner. In the back and fourth continues with the rail splitters back in the red zone. And a nice cutback by Kyler Kohler, who finds the end zone for the easy score. Generals, they get a hot start in the fourth quarter as well. Antonio Young, he heaves it up for Kalen Williams. He ends up coming down and scores, but Lincoln, the rail splitters, they get a win 43-33 over the MacArthur Generals. Now let's go from Lincoln to Auburn in a battle between Auburn and Porta. A whole lot of blue on this field. Auburn, it's going to be Jack Jones. He throws it to Carter Hunley, who runs a little bit, gets nice gain, chunk yardage there before being stopped. And then we're going to go back the way of Jack Jones. Stud quarterback, he's going to find Clayton Kessler, who catches it and scores for Auburn. Big time score there for Auburn as they open up their scoring and it's going to be Porta's Lane McNally. He hands it to Cooper Watts who runs for a short little gain there for Porta. And McNally, he's going to end up handing it off here again to Cooper who, Watts who runs it in for the score. Touchdown, that put Porta up 14-6. to The Trojans though, they win a close one. A nice win for Auburn as they pass the middle of the season, 48-34. Week six, and we have three more contests to get to from around this Springfield area, and we pick things up with two more homecoming contests. The first of which was at Rochester. The Rocket Faithful in full force as they welcome Decatur Eisenhower to town, looking for that all-important homecoming win. It's gonna be Tanner Bill. He gets it to Corbin Gregory. A little speed on the edge as he gets the first down and much more for Rochester. Then to cap the drive, it's Beal fake, then hands it to Caden Stout, who's in for the rocket sex. Give me the energy. Going the other way, though, it's going to be Jotarion Moore. He gets to look for the Panthers. He gets a little room to work here. Their drive, however, would be halted. 
The defense, though, they pick him up. Beal looking for Sweeney downfield, and Kamori Morin rises up for the interception. Big time. Rochester win, however. The Rockets, they shut out Decatur Eisenhower 55 to nothing. The homecoming theme continues for Springfield High. The band rocking some music from the Barbie movie. The dance team slaying as well. And they welcome Jacksonville to town. That halftime effort, they helped the Senators open up that second half well. Scheffler rolling to his right. He connected with the Mackay Newman across the middle. Then Scheffler, he drops it back again, connects with Kale Thurman. And oh my, shifting. He loses a defender or two for another nice center to gain. The touchdown, it wouldn't come easy though. Thurman, he can't get around the edge on this play near the goal line. But again, Scheffler, he gets sacked just a bit later, but Springfield High, they inevitably would not be denied. Scheffler, he's gonna roll to his right, and he's got Alex Hayen in the back corner of the end zone. Tippy toes, hit him with the toe tap. Touchdown, the Senators. They win this one in the final minute. Scheffler to Thurman to win it, 36-29. In the final game from this side of the market, it's action down in Taylorville. The first Taylorville home game we've been able to get to this year. So we start with Effingham, oddly enough. Wade Busher, he makes the catch and works his way and just barely sneaks in for the score. And Taylorville, Aaron Odom, he throws the ball to Blake Laddage. Nice complete pass there for a decent gain. And Spencer Brown, He's going to get around the edge and dive in for the Taylorville Tornadoes. Six, Taylorville, they welcome a tough Effingham team to town in the Tornadoes. They take the home win, 42-41 in overtime. Big time for them. And the Falcons made an aggressive Tuscola defense pay with a timely screen pass. Did he get in? The ref said close, but no cigar. But no worries for Gibson City. They punched it in in the end zone and extended its lead. Falcons flying high with a 6-0 record. And in our last game, Charleston looking to snap a two-game skid, taking on the one and taking on Man, taking on Mantoon, who was just one and four. But don't let the record fool you. Mantoon upset Mount Zion last week. And Mantoon carried the and Mantoon carried their momentum in a big way tonight, knocking off the Trojans for back-to-back -back wins. And that's gonna be a wrap from the eastern side of the state. But next week, I'll be back. I'm Carson Gordy. Have a great night. Back to you, Sammy St. Jean. Awesome, we go play of the day now. A tough drive for Springfield working first down after first and goal and goal to go. Scheffler, he rolls and connects with the junior Alex Hayen for the toe tap score in the second half. A big time play for Springfield High as the Senators, they won it late. A big win for Springfield as they enter a tough end of their schedule. So congrats there to the Senators, nice touchdown as well.
And, well, by now, we all know that Centennial quarterback Kellen Davis, as Carson just said, he can scramble, but the cannon on display, Davis, dart to put the Chargers up 34 to nothing over their crosstown rival Urbana. They win big in that contest. Now, this week is done for Friday Night Rivals, but we have so much more to come. Just a few more weeks, three weeks coming up. Pittsfield is going to be at Pleasant Plains next week. Next week, that's going to be a fun one just two days before my birthday. Don't worry, uh, but that's going to do it for News Channel 20 at 10. Thanks for joining us.